Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tech Geek Josh, and I'm back again with a new video. And this time, it's the unboxing and first look of the Orbic Wonder from Verizon Wireless Prepaid. Now, there's a little bit of a story as to how I initially got this device. So basically, right now, I'm going to go ahead and try my best to explain only some of the main points of the story, and not all of it in, in its entirety. So basically it all started out that I was browsing Walmart's website not expecting to find anything of my interest as usual but I happened to stumble upon this Orbic Wonder for the price of $43.84 from $99 so I was like hmm I thought to myself maybe I ought to pick it up and uh, try it out for myself because I never really had an Orbic phone before as you guys that follow the channel should know. So. In all, I went to Walmart that they had this phone in stock at, and it was only available at one of my Walmarts. And so we went to that Walmart, and I went to the electronics section where they had this phone. But of course, I browsed around the other phones just a little bit before I got to the Verizon section. And they had it in stock, but unfortunately, it was $69 on sale. Basically, on sale for $69 to put it in a more... Put it in a more clear way so i basically thought to myself hmm i wonder why it's 69 dollars so i basically wasted no time and i went up to the cashier and i actually showed them the phone on their website for 43 and after a little bit of um i guess you could say trouble that they had uh, i initially bought it for the grand total of 47 4768 sorry for that pause right there i just uh didn't know how much i actually got it for i actually had to uh check the receipt which actually happened to be in the box right there so there you guys go just most of the important aspects of the story on how i got this orbic wonder so now let's get to the unboxing so some specs of it are that it has a 5.5 inch FHD full HD display which means it's 1080p and no 720p or below which is already a pretty decent plus with this device. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera with an 8 megapixel front and it also is a world device and well I just basically read these specs that are on the front of this package and speaking of the package it's no different it's just the same old newly styled verizon packaging and on the back here i really hope this sticker doesn't doesn't cause problems when and if i decide to return this um so you can see um what's included um obviously it's cut off because of this uh, sticker that they put on it uh, you can see it but you can make out some of the text orbic wonder um sim card that's pre-installed it also has a non-removable 3,000 milliamp hour battery, so that's also another cool, uh, another plus. And some of the specs, or some more of the specs of the Orbic Wonder are listed right here. The color is black. It supports up to a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. The weight is 5.6 ounces. It has a 64-bit octa-core 1.4 gigahertz processor a 3000 milliamp hour non-removable battery and Android but I'm not quite sure what Android version it's running I'm gonna go ahead and say 7.1.1 NuGet but we shall see once we get to the actual phone so again I really hope this sticker doesn't cause problems when and if I return this phone they just had to put it over the a pull tab Giving us a bit of a struggle here, not wanting to come out nicely. A little bit tougher box than the usual Verizon packaging, I gotta say. So here is the Orbic Wonder and its contents. So let's go ahead and lift it up like so, set the phone to the side sounds like it should be a song set the phone to the side 
I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just bored trying to have fun with this video. So here's the wall adapter. You can see USB. It's not um, all one piece. And then here's the cable right here. And it is a USB type C, which I was actually not expecting at all. So that's very nice. USB type C with this device. Then here are your usual Verizon pamphlets, such as your get started guide. What else is in here? Meet your phone guide. Prepaid customer agreement and important consumer safety information. And I almost forgot, because this phone has a non-removable battery, you get a included ejection tool for the SIM card and SD card tray. So let's go ahead and put all this back inside the box. I don't need this charger because I actually already have a couple Type-C chargers because I already have some Type-C phones. So let's go ahead and pop the Orbit Wonder out of the packaging. Come on. There we go. Oh, what was that? Huh, some kind of camera protector. So here's the Orbit Wonder itself with the battery all sealed in and whatnot. It's actually pretty light. Right off the bat, it's pretty light. That's all I can really say about it so far. 5.5 inch display, which eh, I don't know. I don't know if it's this just this pre-installed pre screen protector, but it doesn't even really look like a 5.5 inch display, to be honest. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look around it. Starting at the top, we see we have our earpiece. We have our front-facing 8 megapixel camera with a front-facing LED flash. The 5.5 inch full HD 1080p display with on-screen buttons back home and recent apps if I'm not mistaken on the left side we see we have your tray I'm pretty sure that this is a combination tray that houses your sim card and SD card and that's pretty much it on the left side on the bottom we see we have a micro or no a type-c charging port right in the middle followed by two screws on both sides um, right off the bat, it's reminding me of an iPhone because iPhones have two screws like that in that order. And then what looks to be dual speakers, but as we all should know, one of them is a speaker and one of them is a microphone. On the right side, we see we have our volume rocker right there, which is slightly separated, but it still can be considered one single button. And then we have our uh, power sleep wake button right down below here it's it's decently responsive but it can be more responsive but it's quite all right and on the top we have our headphone jack yes this phone does have a headphone jack and that looks to be it that's the only thing that's on the top of the phone and on the back we have our 13 megapixel camera with a microphone right in the center of it let me bring it closer followed by an LED flash, nothing else, and the Orbic branding right down below. So now that we got the exterior of the Orbic Wonder covered, let's go ahead and remove this screen protector, like so. If I can get to it, I may have to do a quick jump cut right here because it's quite tough. But no, I got it, so we don't need to do a jump cut. Okay, let me go ahead and set this to the side. And let's go ahead and give it its first boot up. Now you see that was quite a weak vibration that it gave off. So Orbic powered by Android. So I'm going to go ahead and let this device do its thing. And I shall return once it's all set up. Okay so the Orbic Wonder is now all set up. Let's go ahead and quickly lower the brightness just for the video's sake. Like so. And I've got to say, I'm actually so far liking what I see in the very, very short time that I have been using it. I really didn't spend too much time with it, literally just like a couple seconds and whatnot. And it's actually quite hard to believe, but this is actually a full 1080p display, even though it may not seem like it, but it is. At least that's what they claim it is. So let's go ahead and quickly go over the Verizon bloatware that they put on this device. So we see we get Verizon Cloud right there. 
We have an FM radio also, but that's not a bloatware app. I just thought I would mention that. Verizon Message Plus, My Verizon, and that looks to be it. It's relatively stock, so which is a very nice thing to see here. So let's go ahead and navigate over to the settings. Go down here first about phone, and it seems that we get 7.1.2 for the Android version, which I was not too far off. I got to say, I'm quite impressed with myself. Uh, so 7.1.2 Nougat. Um, no word, and I'm really unsure if it's going to get Oreo, but I'm going to go ahead and just say right out the bat, it probably won't get Oreo. So let's go back, and let's go up here to the storage. This device ships with 16 gigabytes of storage with 7.85 gigabytes used out of that 16 gigabytes. So we get around, I'm going to say, 9 to 9.2 gigabytes available to the user, which is pretty expected for a phone of this caliber. And this phone also does have 2 gigabytes of RAM, as you can see right here. And well, that's basically for the settings. Let's quickly take a look at the camera interface. little tutorial here. And well, it doesn't really look good on the phone I'm recording with looking off screen with my own eyes well I mean I actually had to turn down the brightness basically to the lowest point because well just to make the video a little bit more pleasing to look at you can actually see the phone in its entirety but as I was saying looking at it off camera with my own eyes it looks pretty decent for a 13 megapixel camera flip to the front facing camera like so Looks pretty decent for an 8 megapixel camera, but again, I keep having to say I'm in pretty awful lighting, but you should get the idea. 8 megapixels for the front and 13 megapixels for the rear. And now let's go ahead and wrap up this unboxing and first look to see by seeing if we have emojis with this phone. Let's go ahead and say skip, exit, let's go back into that. Maybe we do have to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and see here. So we do have Google Keyboard. And with Google Keyboard, of course, we do have the emojis. And there are all of them right yonder. No shortage of them whatsoever. And well, there's nothing else more to say about that. So it looks like that's going to be it for the unboxing and first look of the Orbic Wonder from Verizon Wireless Prepaid. If you found this video enjoyable and or informative in any way possible, then hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so that you'll never miss when I upload. And well, that looks like it's going to be it for me in this video, and I will catch everyone again in the next one.